Tozana wako kuna mkulu sikara sento telesu kwa kubati ni mbata umavula kufali mzini maema dota uandi usha unamba one locksmith technician engineer yomsama. Nganza kutu na mtanje we touching a, a very sensitive uh, and a sad um, a topic that has destroyed people's careers, uh, that has destroyed uh, good relationships, uh, that has destroyed uh, marriages. Um, uh, you know th this this topic today you know i really had to to take time and um uh, and and think about it uh, in terms of how can i best uh, present it uh, to to you the uh, the reliable um, uh, viewers subscribers uh, followers in 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 all platforms of social media that i'm in which is facebook instagram twitter um link in as well as youtube Yo, guys today you know we're talking about being a prisoner of loans uh, being a prisoner of loans um, the, the reason it's so sensitive to me is you know, when I talk about something that uh, I've been through it, uh, it, it's just that I have that those flashbacks, you know, in terms of, you know, what happened then, you, you know. I still have that, uh, that sometimes I, I even get nightmares um, not knowing what to do. Being a victim of loan sharks being a victim of loans in in general being a victim of owing everybody that you know and everybody that uh, they trusted you it's it's a problem it's it's a it's a real 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 problem that one wouldn't know what then to do Coco, what, what must i do for me to get out of this you know trap because you end up thinking that is a trap and and it creates enemies and you create them actually it doesn't create enemies it's like a matter of you are creating enemies day in day out you owe people at work you owe people at church you owe people in your community you own people in your family you you owe people inside your household whether you own your partner uh, in everything i've been there and I, i'm also still recovering you know for being there uh, there are loans that are still outstanding that i know of of people that I, I I owe and um and I, I know for sure that I, it it doesn't there's nothing that will disturb me or that will make me to say ah that one I'm not gonna pay I don't have that because as soon as you have that you are provoking their ancestors and they will deal with you before that person uh, that you're owing deals with you and I would like to be as general as possible when i unpack this so that we really really do something towards healing towards paying back towards restoring those uh, uh, relationships others they are dented forever the, which means the relationship you had with them is cracked i'm using the word very carefully it is scrapped it doesn't exist anymore you 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 won't uh, 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 restore it you won't uh, fix that relationship it is gone it is gone forever and most of those relationships that are not fixable are the ones that you really need are the ones that you re you don't want them the ones that you just wanted them at that particular time because you were desperate for money those relationships will be restored 100 percent because when anabo you are in the same group you are in the same whatsapp group if i may use that term but the ones that they really trusted you they were really uh, uh, believed in you and everything 
that relationship was going to develop to something even better than it was. If it was a marriage, it was going to be the marriage from heaven. It was going to be a marriage that never happened before. If it was just a love relationship, it was you were going to be lovers that everybody says, wow, and everything. If ever it, it, it was a, a relationship of in terms of career-wise, a, a colleagues or whatever, it was going to be the best, but you've messed up with it. And then you've messed up because of you couldn't pay what you owe them in terms of money-wise. Then those people, they are not going to be able to open any doors for you because of what you've done. I don't know if that makes sense. They won't open any doors for you. They won't do any favors for you because even when they've loaned you that money, it was not a favor. It was something that they felt that they thought you deserve it only to find out that you're no longer paying them. Then the problem starts. <laughs> the problem starts. The problem starts. That's, that's when you, you, you realize that, you know what? We used to call each other. We used to stay on the phone with my friend for hours. You know, I used to visit him. I used to visit her. You know, whenever she came to visit me, we will have the most romantic moments you can ever imagine. We used to sit down on Sundays and and, and listen to Metro FM, listen to, to that R&B, listen to this DJ, listen to this DJ and everything and have quality time. But because of that loan that you you don't want to pay, that you, you, you told yourself what you're not going to pay her, you're not going to pay him, you're not going to pay them, you now have lost a potential everlasting relationship. What then? What then? What then do I do? Before you ask, what then do you do? The question you should ask, what happened? What made me to have such a number of debts that I didn't pay? What made me to owe each and every one? I'm not talking about, obviously, guys, you cannot owe everybody in the world, but you've owing almost each and every potential relationship that you've came across. People work hard for their money. They work hard for their money. People killed other people for the money that they've loaned you. People did evil stuff. People went to your toilet. They went for induced uh, uh, wealthy for you to be borrowed that money. People have to uh, perform serious relationships for them to have that money. But when you just took it, ah, they won't do anything. They won't do anything. Uh, I, I took their money uh, and everything. No, it doesn't work like that. And as soon as you, you commit yourself to say, I want to pay this person. No, why do I want to pay this? Because it's their money. I have to pay it. I'm telling you, ancestors will open doors for you and then you will be able to pay them. Even if uh, you no longer have a relationship with that individual or those individuals, rest assured that at least you will greet them with a clear heart to say, hello. So born, you will answer their phones with so much confidence because you know Oguti already there is something that you, you have done, which is you've paid them. They want nothing to do with you, it's fine. You will be able to respect that. Why are you going to be able to respect that that they want nothing to do with you even if, if uh, 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 even if you've already paid them? It's because you have dented that relationship. A car that was involved in an accident, it's no longer the same car, even if you can get the best mechanic ever, the best penepita ever, it's no longer the same. It's no longer the same. If you go to car dealers selling the car, there's something that they put on the body of their car. That thing can tell, can dictate if ever there's a mat that is, is there that was used to, to, to penetrate that car. And then as soon as they found it, the value drops. They, they will now start to negotiate with you. Because why? It's no longer the same. It doesn't worth what you are saying. 
anymore. The same happens to relationships. You can start, try to, the only thing that I can advise you to say, forgive yourself and move on. When you find yourself in that situation, forgive yourself and move on. Because when you are trying to do something, you're wasting your time. Trust me, you're wasting your time. It's not going to happen. You will be wasting your time. You will be so much wasting your time. So let's go deeper to say, Goko, what happened? What happened, Goko? Why do I owe people so much money? I, I, I will unpack it a bit by bit uh, so that we, we understand uh, at least most of the dynamics, most of what could have happened for you to find yourself in that situation that you are in whereby you are a prisoner of loans. You are not just blacklisted, but you 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 you, you, you are scrapped in ITC. You, 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 la, 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 it's red flags. It's not something that you'll fix or tomorrow and everything. Actually, based on your age, sometimes you must just kiss your uh, your your um your your thing um uh, ITC uh, uh, profile a uh, goodbye. You'll never go back to a, a point whereby you can have a credit card, you can buy a car from the garage, or you can qualify for anything. You won't even qualify uh, at Ackermans to open an account. Or at sales house. I don't know if sales house still is still there. You won't even qualify for that. You are stuck. Basically, everything that you need to do, you need to pay it cash. Coco, what happened? What makes that? Guys, as I've said, there are things that we do as healers to people that makes them to give you money. And if you don't bring back that money, you'll see to it. Oh, good team if you'll see the light of another loan or of being cleared of loans ever in your life. There's a multi that we use uh, that will make you, if you go to a loan shark, that will make you to survive through that loan, uh, through that loan shark. So your life is now based on him. So this guy will give you money and then let's say you're working for government and you're getting your bonuses uh, on your birthday. And let's say your birthday is on the 29th of November, uh, as in mine, which means from January, because of you wanted kids to go back to school, from January you've been loaning, you've loaned money at, in January for kids to go to school. So end of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. For nine months, you are paying the interest of that loan only. Because you've told this loan shark that I'm getting my bonuses when on the 29th of November, which is my birthday, then I'm going to pay you the rest of your money. Now already you have scrapped your, 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 your bonuses so that you can pay back that loan. And guess what? You're going to pay it today on the 29th of November, on the 1st of December, or on the 15th of December, before the, the holiday of the 16th of December, you go back to the same loan shark and they'll say, in December, I don't take money out, but because I know that you pay, here's the money. Now you have started the loan when in December, which is the money that is going to be spent throughout a, a, a festive season. And then in January, you don't have money. And you have to pay that interest interest until when? Until November. And that guy is happy about it. Because that multi makes you to, to what? To always being in debt. Guess what happens? Come January, again, kids need to go to school. You go to another loan shark. Then they do the same. Now you are paying two interests every month. There's a bond involved, there's a car payment maybe, there's groceries that need, be, need to be bought and everything. And sometimes, and it happens to everybody, both males and females, sometimes you don't even tell your partner. 
Oguti, you are drowning. There's these two loans that we are, uh, loan uh, interest that we are paying off loan shares. And they, when they want their money, you know what's going to happen to you. Sometimes in other months, you don't pay that interest. Then they come knocking to your door. They come wanting that money and money. They fight with you. They threaten you. They do what? They do what? They do what? Other people, they get beaten for that. Others, it's a matter of you have a very good credit score. You have a uh, credit cards to all the banks in South Africa. The top five, you have credit cards of those banks. And you also find yourself that after having those credit cards of those banks, you, you, you also have loans in some of the banks. So you have to pay the, in, in the credit cards. You have to pay the, the loans. And you get to find yourself that suddenly you can't do a proper proper budgeting anymore because your money when it gets in the only thing that you'll enjoy is to is it's a it's a it's a tone or it's a ringtone or your message or notification tone of your cell phone even that smartphone you are owing it or it's a contract and you are behind the same cell phone you are behind so everything that you have Clothes that you are wearing, you owe them. You took them from Woolworths, you owe them. Food that you are eating, you took them from Woolworths, you owe that food. The car that you are driving doesn't belong to you, it belongs to the bank. The house that you are staying in doesn't belong to you, it belongs to the bank. Things that you have, they, you owe all the furniture shops that you can think of. So basically, even your kids, even your kids' uniform, you owe them. From what? From the, the from Woolworths, from Edgars, wherever where they sell a, a, a school uniform in credit, that means you are so deep in that it's not even funny. When you look around yourself, when you look around your, your house, you own nothing. The the the, the 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 clothes that you are wearing, they are getting uh, you know uh, getting old, and you still have to pay them. That t-shirt, that or oh, that shirt, that tie, and everything you took it on credit, you owe. You need to go and pay, and you don't have money. That's when you get people killing themselves. It's not a joke. It's not. It's not a joke. That's when you get people killing themselves. That's when you get people have anger issues. You know, you start a small conversation, they have anger because they are killing a lot. This thing is done by Muti. Sometimes you took one loan from a, a, a person, you've asked somebody to borrow you money, you no longer want to pay that money. There's Muti that will make you to owe, owe, owe everybody money. You are owing every human being that you know money that, that thing now is being induced for you to say you must enjoy going to this person borrow money and spoil that relationship go to that person it's like stealing from somebody then they get a good uh, 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 healer that will make that person to steal their rest of their lives until they find somebody that will kill them for stealing for that person even on loans you are a loan a prisoner by the fact that somebody somewhere has done something for you not to see the light of being successful of having peace sometimes it's done by somebody who's jealous within the family to say now she's waking he's waking uh, they think they're smart and everything will see I want them to suffer their whole life they can do that witchcraft can make you Witchcraft can make you to be a lone prisoner. You know very well that when, when it comes to using money, you were very good. You were excelling when it comes to using money. Now you find yourself, you are the most terrible individual. If, even if you can give them five rand, they will take that five rand and buy something that worth one cent with a five rand. That's how terrible things are. Nobody trusts you anymore with their money because of 
what you have turned to be only to find out that it's it's works of witchcraft i've told you that this is a very sensitive issue very sensitive issue and people don't understand and people who have never experienced that they, they, they will judge you they will think oh it's no uh, 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 he's just a bad person he doesn't want to pay me she doesn't want to to do that for me and everything there's people who are even owning a uh, study loans which means everything you know you you have a degree but you you owing this fast you, you know everything that you have at the age at the no longer give you the advance because they, they can see that you know what every month you're asking for advance every month you are absconding from work at school and everything because of you are running away from people that you are owing it's a very sensitive issue it needs a, 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 a very matured, this video needs very matured individuals. Because w when you look at this video, you mustn't look at this video and say, uh, uh, and, 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 and create fights and go to fight with people and everything. This video, it's meant for us to do self-introspection. To say, I, 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 okay, I, it means I need help. It means I need to go and, and really check that what makes me to have so many loans, knowing myself on what I've achieved. Sometimes we have loans, but everything in the house you have paid for. You don't owe anything in the house. The house was paid off or you've built the house from the scratch or you just stay in the, in the rural and everything. What, what, what. But there's this money that you borrow from people you know, to go to the funeral. Other people will take a loan to go <clears throat> to a funeral of a friend of a friend. Then you ask yourself, why did I go to Cape Town to that funeral? Because that is not my friend. That is my friend's friend, not my friend. Other people, they take loans to post. Other people, they take loans to get married. So you owe everything. The Lobola that you paid for your wife, it was a loan. It was not your money. Hello? It was not your money. It was a loan. The dresses, the, 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 the whole wedding that you did in, in impressing your wife it, or impressing people. Sometimes you do it alone as a man. Sometimes a woman does it alone. Sometimes you both do it in terms of to impress people that don't give a damn about you. They don't care, those people. They don't care. We'll come there, we'll come to your wedding and eat and go. The only thing that you'll be left with is pictures that will remind you of how much you have spent of the money that you didn't even have it was a loan so you you owe everything that you can think of even if the, the, your your child wanted to 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 be born in the private hospital you don't even have the medical aid you, you have to get a loan to pay for that because you were impressing people i want my child to go to a a a, 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 a private hospital to be born in a private hospital because of you are impressing people that don't care about you. So you end up owing everything under the planet. There's no process of loan that you don't understand. You even know how to cheat it. That's how creative you are. I've told you that this is very sensitive. Don't be a prisoner of loans. You need help. <clears throat> stand up go seek help get somebody who will tell you oh, what is wrong with you if it means you must go to Kiyane, mozambique wherever fix it it's fixable in closure i'm saying to you it is fixable you can get out of that loan you can get a parole to get out of that prison of loans you can it's possible you can turn your life around it is possible how coco is possible you need to go look for help you need a professional traditional help for you to get out of that other people they just need counseling other people it has nothing to do with witchcraft but everything to do with them so they need help other people especially people who are doing things to impress sometimes you just need a professional help you just need to see a psychologist there are many helps that are out there in closure with another set news 
it it pains me uh, deeply to to announce what uh, the what we have planned and what was advertised that I'll be also be available in Soweto is not going to happen this month uh, because of uh, unforeseen circumstances and that I have totally no control of uh, at all. You know, when you work with spirit, sometimes we take things uh, for granted. Uh, even if when we announce, when we do rituals, we just sometimes, you know, we just do it as if you own uh, 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 healers. Uh, or sorry, uh, as if you own your ancestors, I want to find out your ancestors, they own you, not them, because what you are using you, you, is temporarily. They can take it away from you. They can take the calling away from you. So uh, it's not going to happen this month. Uh, however, it's still going to happen that uh, I, I I start working in, in Soweto, but not this month, uh, or rather, let me say, not uh, as soon as uh, as I thought, as I've placed the date to say on the 14th of uh, April uh, 2024, I'll be working from Soweto. It's not going to happen at this moment until further notice. As soon as I'm done with rituals, definitely I will announce again. And when I announce, I'll be having the key and the bell with me to say, here is it, uh, here are the keys. Definitely, the deal is on. Let's uh, let's 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 work in so too. And uh, I know it's so much inconvenience for other people, and I apologize for that. Uh, for any inconvenience caused, uh, I sincerely apologize. And definitely, I will let you know in terms of when uh, am I coming uh, to Soweto. And another thing, you don't want to talk about in Nimbata to come to Soweto incomplete, incomplete. You know, I want to be able to help you the same way as I'm helping you here, especially when it comes to consultation. However, the online consultations are still working. I've waited for years for that. And finally, was granted a, 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 you know, a permit, uh, if I may use that term, or I've been accred accredited. Uh, for me to, to do the online uh, consultation. That one is happening every Thursday. You just have to phone the office of 357995703 to make your bookings. Uh, and the book is still available. Uh, yes, we, we printed uh, another bunch of books. Please uh, do support and buy the book. The book is going to benefit you, your family, and the entire people that you know that you, 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 you really you know care about so forgive us uh, for not coming to Soweto and please guys um uh, just phone the office if you want if any inquiry please phone the office we'll be able to to assist you uh, and thank you so much stay blessed remember it is possible to get out of the loans it is possible you cannot be a prisoner of loans for the rest of your life it is absolutely, I don't know how can I emphasize this. It is absolutely, absolutely possible. The only thing that you need to do, you need to stand up and fix your life. Stand up and fix your life. That's all I can tell you. There's nothing else I can say. Stand up and fix your life. Stand up. You can. You can. Yes, you won't re re repair all the relationships, but you can do something. Because why? You're still alive. You, you're not dead. Then what? What if you're, st you're still going to uh, live until 100? So you're going to have people knocking your door until you're 100? You can't. What about your kids? It's not safe for kids as well. Long shots now are coming. They come to take furniture. They come to take cars. Uh, uh, this thing has been repossessed. The house has been repossessed and everything. You can put a stop on that. You can. It's possible. It's possible. Again, apologies for Soweto uh, and Sowetans and uh, people from Crowden and, and, and all, all, all over the world. And you know, people who, who said, no, we're coming to Soweto. It's going to be very convenient for me and everything. We were not testing water. I was really uh, had everything packed, ready to go to Soweto. But unfortunately, I need to be home because of all the rituals that I need to do. I need to do them at home. Remember the video that I've done about 
the, the time zone of ancestors is not the same as our time zone. This is exactly what I meant because I thought I'm ready to go to Soweto only to find that the time zone of ancestors doesn't allow me to Get that video.